يصنى الكل ويبقاه ليس الباقي إلا هو الله 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 ما لي رب إلا هو This commentary that I'm presenting is from Kanzul Iman, the, from Khazayn ul Khan, by Sadrullah Fadil al-Lama Sayyid Naimuddin Murad Abadi radiallahu anhu, which is based on the translation of Allah Hazrat's Kanzul Iman. Okay. Now, regarding the commentary of uh, Surah Baqarah, it is mentioned that this verse was revealed in Madinatul Munawwara. The Surah rather, the Surah Surah Baqarah was revealed in Madinatul Munawwara and Hadrat Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma Imamul Mufassirin who is known as the leader of the commentators and the leader of the Mufassirin who was the cousin of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the son of Hadrat Abbas radiallahu anhu his full name was Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu he stated that it is this surah which was first to be revealed in Madinah al Munawwara. The first surah that was to be revealed, or that was revealed in Madinah, mm-hmm. was Surah Baqarah. Okay? And he says, with the exception of one verse, one verse, with the exception of one verse, what taku yoman turja'oon, what taku yoman turja'oon, yoman turja'oon, that one verse of, the, of Surah Baqarah, except for that verse, the rest of Surah Baqarah was revealed in Madinah al Manawara. This verse was revealed in Makkah during the Hajjatul Wida. This, this one part of the verse was revealed in Makkah during Hajjatul Wada. The rest of Surah Bakra was revealed in Madinatul Munawwara. Okay. Now this is based on the the commentary that has been given in the in the, 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 the narration present by Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu is as per the commentary from uh, Tafsir Khazi, right? Which is very very Authentic. Now, how many verses are in Surah Baqarah? It is mentioned that this surah has 286 verses. 286 ayats. Surah Baqarah has 286 ayats and it has 40 rukus. Surah Baqarah has 286 ayats, verses, and it has how many rukus? 40 rukus and it has 6,121 words. 6,121 words and 25,500 alphabets. Surah Baqarah has, Surah Baqarah has 286 verses, 40 rukus, 6,121 words and 25,500 alphabets. This too in Khazai and Al-Fan as per Tafsir Khazim. Okay, that this is just an introduction I will give you to Surah Baqarah. Now, the annotate, the, 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 the Sayyidina Sadr al-Fadil says that in the past the names of the surahs were not written in the Quran. In the initial time when the Quran was gathered into a written form, okay, into the uh, form of the Sahifa, into the form of the, the written form and where you do what you are able to read. Uh, this had no, this, the, 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 how like in the beginning of the of this chapters you get the surah name. Surah Al-Fatiha, Surah Al-Baqarah, or Surah Nas, whatever Surah it gives you. In the beginning this was not there. Okay? This method was introduced by Hajjaj. Okay? He introduced this method of putting the Surahs at the beginning of uh, each, uh, or the names in the beginning of each Surah. Now, Sayyidina Shaykh Mahyuddin ibn Arabi, radiallahu has mentioned that in Surah Baqarah, Ibn Arabi states the, the beauty of Surah Baqarah that in this 286 verses of the Holy Quran he says there are 1,000 direct commands. In Surah Baqarah there are 1,000 direct commands of Allah. 1,000 direct commands of Allah and there are 1,000 restrictions. There are 1,000 restrictions, 1,000 hukms of Amr and 1,000 hukms of Nahi. There are 1,000 commands that are direct commands, 1,000 direct commands, 1,000 restrictions. There are 1,000 laws in Surah Baqarah. There are 1,000 laws. There are 1,000 masail that are known in Surah Baqarah. And there are further 1,000 messages. Okay, so 1,000 commands, 
1000 restrictions 1000 laws and 1000 messages in surah Baqarah okay now in adopting the surah Ibn Arabi says this this is all from Ibn Arabi he says that in adopting this surah Hud surah surah al-Baqarah there is immense blessing there is great blessing in adopting meaning as making it part of your life as making it <coughs> becoming used to reading surah Baqarah okay as much as you can okay now obviously a man not going to sit one time read 286 verses of surah Baqarah as much as he can but they say Ibn Arabi says that to adopt uh, this surah there is immense blessing and in abandoning in abandoning it leaving it bilkul usko chhod dena in leaving surah al-baqarah there is anguish and regret okay a person will, will fall into grief and he will be in regret if he doesn't read the surah at least sometimes okay so in 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 in, in adopting the surah there are immense blessings and in abandoning there was there's anguish and seek, uh, and uh, and regret and Sayyidina Muhyiddin ibn Arabi radiallahu says that the ahl batil the ahl batil means the corrupt and the conjurers here when they're talking about ahl batil they're talking about the deviants the corrupt at the same time they're talking about the conjurers who are the conjurers? Jadugar okay the magicians black magicians or this kind of people okay sorcerers okay those who perform sorcery it is stated by him that the ahl batil this is referring to these people have no capability, they have no power over it. They have no capability over the surah. In other words, they can't use it for anything. They can't harm you through the surah. And if you use the surah, they can't do anything to you. This is for this reason that Ibn Arabi says that for three days, shaitan, the defiant, shaitan, the evil, does not enter that home in which Surah Baqarah is recited. If Surah Baqarah is recited in that house for three days, shaitan cannot enter. Why he does not have the ability to go through this shield? It is such a powerful shield. It has been stated in the hadith of uh, Muslim Sharif that Shaitan flees from that house in which Surah Baqarah is recited, Tafsir al Jamal. That Surah Baqarah, where it's recited, Shaitan runs. He flees from that house where Surah Al Baqarah is recited. Now, Bayhaki and uh, Sa'id bin Mansur have reported from Hazrat Muhira, radiallahu ta'ala an that that person who recites 10 verses of Surah Baqarah before he sleeps 10 verses of Surah Baqarah before he sleeps will never forget the Quran those who are becoming Hafiz and those who want to keep the Quran in your heart that person who recites 10 verses of Surah Baqarah before he goes to sleep he will never forget the Quran which are the, those verses? the first four for ayats the first four ayats Ayat al-Kursi after that the first four ayats followed by ayat al kursi then the two ayats after ayat al kursi and the last three ayats of the surah baqarah so the first four ayats of surah baqarah ayat al kursi the ayats the two ayats that follow ayat al kursi and the last three ayats how many that makes ten ayats if a person recites this he will never forget the quran even whatever of the quran you read you won't forget it okay this is the barakat of then this is uh, reported by Bahaki on the authority, on the authority of Sayyid bin Mansur uh, and uh, sorry and Sayyid bin Mansur on the authority of Hazrat Mughira radiallahu ta'ala an. now there is one important masla here that has been mentioned that Tabrani and Bayhaki have reported from Hazrat Sayyidina Ibn Umar Abdullah Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu ma okay now he says that the beloved Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Bayhaki and Tabrani are reporting from Hadrat Abdullah ibn Umar. What they are saying? They are saying that Hadrat ibn Umar Adilan said that Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa said that after burying your deceased, after you bury your marhum, after you bury your deceased, then recite the opening verses of Surah Baqarah at the head side. Recite the surah, opening verses of Surah Baqarah at the head side. Which are the opening verses? From Alif Lam till Muflihun. From Alif Lam to Muflihun. Read that by the head side. Even when you go to the Qabristan, and if you feel like there's probably some discomfort for the Murugh, oh, it's just for Barakat. You stand at the head side and you read from Alif Lam to Muflihun. And Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, what you do when you bury your deceased, read the opening verses of Surah Baqarah at the head side of the grave, and recite the closing verses at the foot side of the grave. So from Amal and Rasul going down. From Alif Lam to Muflihun at the head side, and from Amal and Rasul to 
kafirin okay at the uh, full size this is as per the hukum of the beloved rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam now i'm going to tell you the long one last part and give the rest for tomorrow mm-hmm. tomorrow we'll read the the surah part the verse by first i'll read the first seven ayats tomorrow inshallah alazim and i'll give you the translation thereafter we'll talk about the tafsir now now we are discussing here very quickly the shani nuzul the shani nuzul now what is the shani nuzul it can be translated into many words but the excellence of the divine wisdom behind the revelation the excellence of the divine wisdom behind the revelation what was in inverted commas the cause through which this verse was revealed now almighty allah had promised that he will reveal such a book upon his beloved nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam that neither can be washed away through water subhanallah that the water can destroy that surah that he will reveal such a book such a book sorry i'm saying as a surah book such a kitab upon the nabi that neither can it be washed away through water nor can it perish subhanallah now this could mean many things it could mean literally that you cannot wash the quran away and it can't perish in reality why because the quran is allah's kalam it can't perish yes, if you look at the basic the bunyadi aqaid that we do concerning the kalam of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then you will understand that okay now that was when we were doing bahari shariat in lajro with the early days then you'll understand where i'm coming from uh, i can't go, i'm not going to go into detail there but the quran can neither be washed away through water no can it be no can it be perished this book which allah promised mm-hmm. that he will reveal about nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam and then the other thing is even if they do try to use water or if they try to say the so called cause to perish mm-hmm. it's a ha- in the heart of the hufaz mm-hmm. it's in the heart of the hufaz the muslims know the holy quran mm-hmm. allah has blessed us with this okay mm-hmm. so allah said uh, he will re- he promised that he will reveal such a book mm-hmm. allah promised that he will reveal mm-hmm. such a kitab when the quran was revealed and the quran is revealed that is why the word dhalika has come that is why the word dhalika that book that book yet the quran is this book the quran is this book in reality but if you look at the words of the quran alif lam mim dhalika alkitab that book okay now the mufassirin have stated that this book there was a book promised that will come which can neither be washed away disintegrated through water no can it pay perished then when the quran was revealed almighty allah said dhalika alkitab okay dhalika alkitab this is that promised book this is that promised book the book which allah had promised that book this is which is this but which one that promised book that promised book which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had promised now one one uh, one view one view regarding this uh, the shani nuzul is that almighty allah had promised the bani israel about the revelation of about a book towards them allah taala promised the people of israel bani israel the nation of bani israel that the book will be revealed towards them and he promised the bani ismail about the coming of a prophet from amongst them the bani israel were promised a book and bani ismail were promised a prophet a special prophet mm-hmm. when the beloved rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam migrated made hijrah to madina tayyaba mm-hmm. they the jews were in large number mm-hmm. they thought it will be revealed to them but not realizing towards them meant because they were so many in madina and the nabi migrated to madina mm-hmm. the nabi will migrate to mm-hmm. madina so when nabi karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam migrated to madina and the quran was revealed alif lam mim dhalika al kitab because this surah was revealed there okay when this happened then both words of, of the promised words were fulfilled both of the promised words were fulfilled because nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam from the bani ismail okay from the descendants of hazrat ismail islam from hazrat ibrahim coming down and the jews were so many in number in madina so it came towards the place where they were it came towards the place where they were and it came upon that nabi who was from the bani ismail who muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and thus this gave the great gave the news and the glad tidings of the fulfillment of these two promises of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this which i explained from khazar bin fan is as per tafsir khazi zameen o zaman tumhare liye 
मकीनों मका तुम्हारे लिए